help. Um, and then some things that are just a little bit more speculatory and weird. Let's go ahead and get on into this. So the first thing you're going to notice is that there is a very strange ambiance to this whole light show. Honestly, it put chills up my spine while I was watching it. And then later on you will see that there are symbols that start to appear on the 12 pillars of the church. These symbols morph and it's very difficult to see what they are, but I will show you a frame by frame edit and show you what they're actually trying to spell out. But then towards the end here, these symbols get engulfed by some type of flame. And then something appears at the end. Do you see it? All the way at the bottom in the six middle pillars. Let's zoom in a little bit and show you what I'm seeing. There are demonic faces that are put on top of the pillars. This is for real. It's legit. These are, you know, real faces. I don't think this is my imagination making it up, but I don't know if this is necessarily news because the Catholic Church has been known to put gargoyles on their churches. So you take that for what you will. There's a lot of people that are seeing these faces show up, you know, behind Obama when he made his speech on gun control last Sunday. The Kodak moments where Obama has horns on him, all the different little things that people are finding. So what you guys are looking at right now is a frame by frame still capture that I had managed to get later on in the light show. These symbols are not the same ones that you saw in the prior frames. It's something different. And for the most part, this image is relatively clear. And so based on this resolution, we can figure out that these are not just random symbols thrown onto the pillars. This is not artistic freedom of expression. And the reason I say that is because I looked through a multitude of resources with regards to ancient alphabets, ancient numerology and occult symbolism, and these symbols marry up exactly to the South Arabian consonantal alphabet. This alphabet was formed in ancient Babylonia at about 1300 BC, up until about 600 CE, when the entire Arabian Peninsula was converted to Islam and Arabic. So they are using some type of ancient alphabet on these pillars. What they're trying to tell us, I do not know, and this is something you guys can possibly help me out with. I'll put the resources that I have found so far, but I've only been able to decode three symbols. And you can see right in the middle, there is a symbol that is unique unto itself, and then it is mirrored on other sides for their respective symbols. It must be mentioned that these symbols are all rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees. So really not sure what's all going on here, but again, something calculated. Now in this short frame, you're going to see some very blatant and obvious symbolism with regards to sun worship. There's lots of sun worship in the Vatican and in the Catholic Church, and you can see it demonstrated here. This same symbolism is used towards the end of the light show, and it's even more powerful than this one. I'm gonna to get to that in a little bit. But to even top this one out, wait till you see the antithesis of the sun, the moon. This shows up right after the sun crests over the horizon. You see the moon cresting over the horizon. And the conspiracy theorists are going to love this one because it shows it accompanied by an asteroid, meteor, or comet shower of some kind. There's been lots of conspiracy theories about a meteor asteroid going to hit on various days. So this one is going to stir some controversy. Towards the end of this frame, the moon at the top is going to be eclipsed. So I'm not sure what that means, but look to the stars and the sky for signs. And so I'm not really sure what they're trying to point to here with the lunar eclipse. After this frame, there's this symbolism of water. And it runs down St. Peter's Church. There's many references to water, both in Christianity and in the occult. In Christianity, we familiarize ourselves with water via baptism. But in the occult, there's many references to water as well. It's the access or doorway to parallel dimensions. We think about the movie Stargate and the water-like portal. We think about the movie Constantine with Keanu Reeves. The only way you got to hell was being dunked through water with some certain prayers. There's also many pieces of Freemasonic and Satanic architecture that use water. So the One World Trade Center with the cube full of water 
and other similar pieces of architecture. Now this is going to be more of a speculatory uh, translation of symbols. You can see these candles all starting to form around the church. It has some very eerie ambience to it. And it sort of looks like a Freemasonic G at first, up until the candles really take form. And you can see there's some 90 degree bends with these candles, and so I believe that their placement is strategic. So I went ahead and found the original image on a photographer's website, and I just drew straight lines, transparent straight lines across these candles. And I found that it pretty much marries a pentagram-like image. Not exactly, but pretty similar. And it marries up with this unicursal hexagram. This is a free-handed continuous hexagram that is obviously used in pagan and satanic rituals. So I'm not sure if that was what it was intended, but the images do align fairly well. So at the end of this video, you see some very powerful colors here. You see a blue building and a red building. It must be noted that the red building in the background is not lit up for the entire hour of the light show except for the very end. So this is very calculated and very meaningful. I alluded to this in my last video. This is representative of the blue and red Freemasonic Satanic Lodges. The red and blue color manifests itself all throughout occult symbolism and advertisement. I'll talk a little bit about that later. But you can see again, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there is the sun worship. And you can see the sun cresting over the horizon on St. Peter's Basilica until it is fully in the sky. And then, for some odd reason, they have this black plague encasing the church or some type of shadow figures. It's, it's very disturbing, it's very eerie, not really sure what it means. But the entire church goes black and then afterwards you see the moon rising again with that asteroid, meteor, or comet-like shower. The only difference is, again, you see that very strong symbolism of blue and red buildings. So there's the red and blue pill from the Matrix, as you remember. And there's all sorts of Freemasonic red and blue lodge um, compass G symbols that you see here. And another creepy incident <clears throat> is involving the Queen of England, which you can see here, where she's dressed in red and his and her uh, lady there to the next to her is blue. And then look at the belt. There's the Freemasonic G and a pentagram on a red belt on a blue dress. Pretty crazy stuff, guys. So what do I think about the events that transpired today? Well, as I mentioned prior, Pope Francis has not promulgated any changes to Catholic law on matters of discipline or doctrine like I thought he would, because he still hasn't promulgated anything from the Synod of Bishops that happened this past October, and that Synod was prepared for for an entire year via the third extraordinary Synod in Catholic history in 2014. And so it will happen at some point, but we're just not really sure when. So, with regards to today and December 8th and all the things that happened today, how does this puzzle piece fit in with the mix? Honestly, I'm not sure. Pope Francis certainly teased us a lot with his homily, spouting off more mercy and compassion and acceptance for all, like he has done throughout his papacy. As I mentioned, this whole light show and this logo for mercy like the father is just laden with all sorts of occult luciferian satanic symbolism even the name of fiat lux means let there be light again this is the un year of light 2015 or 5776 on the hebrew calendar something really big is at play it marries up with the COP21, which ends on December 11th and 12th. That is the planetary alignment that I have been speaking of, which Ditrinium Press said marries up with a crop circle. We just have to wait. 
I'm really not sure what's all going to go down, if anything at all. But it's still a very high watch period. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Appreciate the help if you find out anything new. See you guys later. The Catholic Church has been known to put gargoyles on their churches. So you take that for what you will. There's a lot of people that are seeing these faces show up, you know, behind Obama when he made his speech on gun control last Sunday. The Kodak moments where Obama has horns on him. All the different little things that people are finding. So what you guys are looking at right now is a frame-by-frame -frame still capture that I had managed to get later on in the light show. These symbols are not the same ones that you saw in the prior frames. It's something different. And for the most part, this image is relatively clear. And so, based on this resolution, we can figure out that these are not just random symbols thrown onto the pillars. This is not artistic freedom of expression. And the reason I say that is because I looked through a multitude of resources with regards to ancient alphabets, ancient numerology, and occult symbolism, and these symbols marry up exactly to the South Arabian consonantal alphabet. This alphabet was formed in ancient Babylonia at about 1300 BC, up until about 600 CE, when the entire Arabian Peninsula was converted to Islam and Arabic. So, they are using some type of ancient alphabet on these pillars. What they're trying to tell us, I do not know, and this is something you guys can possibly help me out with. I'll put the resources that I have found so far, but I've only been able to decode three symbols. Hey everyone, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. In this video, we're going to look at the Freemasonic and Illuminati symbolism that was in the Fiat Lux light show presentation plastered all over the Vatican earlier this afternoon. If you had not already seen that video, I'll put a link in the YouTube description so you can watch it. The beginning and end of the show are very creepy, to say the least. There's some symbolism in there that I'm 100% sure of, and it's Freemasonic. There's some other aspects of it that I'm still trying to decode, and I may ask for your all help. Um, and then some things that are just a little bit more speculatory and weird. Let's go ahead and get on into this. So the first thing you're going to notice is that there is a very strange ambiance to this whole light show. On symbols. And you can see right in the middle there is a symbol that is unique unto itself. And then it is mirrored on other sides for their respective symbols. It must be mentioned that these symbols are all rotated counterclockwise by 90 degrees. So really not sure what's all going on here, but again something calculated. Now in this short frame you're going to see some very blatant and obvious symbolism with regards to sun worship. There's lots of sun worship in the Vatican and in the Catholic Church and you can see it demonstrated here. This same symbolism is used towards the end of the light show and it's even more powerful than this one. I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But to even top this one out, wait till you see the antithesis of the sleeve. It put chills up my spine while I was watching it. And then later on you will see that there are symbols that start to appear on the 12 pillars of the church. These symbols morph and it's very difficult to see what they are, but I will show you a frame by frame edit and show you what they're actually trying to spell out. But then towards the end here, these symbols get engulfed by some type of flame. And then something appears at the end. Do you see it? All the way at the bottom in the six middle pillars. Let's zoom in a little bit and show you what I'm seeing. There are demonic faces that are put on top of the pillars. This is for real. It's legit. These are, you know, real faces. I don't think this is my imagination making it up, but I don't know if this is necessarily news because 